this is how to fill up a truck using a hydrant. Uh, standard hydrant right here. Here's your water gauge. You can see it's full already. It's already full. That's the water level. Empty one four five three four and four. It's full, but for this, for this scenario, we're just gonna pretend that it's not full. And we need a hydrant. Of course, you go a lot quicker, but we're just gonna take our time right here. Okay, so we got our we got our basic tools. We didn't need to get the whole hydrant bag. We got our gate, our stores, our hydrant wrench, and our spinner. And we only using the ten feet because it should reach from here to there because it's not that far. First, we take off, we take off here. Put our gate in. This hydrant is a bit fucked up, and I already know that. So because of that, Okay, like I was saying, this hydrant is fucked up, and I know that. So because of that, I'm gonna use my spinner wrench to tighten the gate valve up. So that much water, water's still gonna come out because this hydrant, like I said, is fucked up. Water's still gonna come out, so I'm gonna just tighten it up a bit more to make the water come out as less as possible. You can see, I'm supposed to have my bunker gear on too. So if you're doing this, make sure you have your bunker gear on. But I don't feel like doing all of that right now. So here, so the gate is pretty tight. Now, what the reason the reason the gate is here for is when you finish, is when is when you're done, you want to open the gate. See, right now the gate is open, so right you want to make sure it's closed when you open the high. Right here, I'm using the top right here to close it. You see, it's open. the gate is closed once I open the hydrant there's not gonna be no water coming here as there's no water gonna come here I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use this valve right here that's where the water's gonna come out of this is where the stores come in okay, okay open up no debris inside blah 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 Let's go in. Tighten it up. Stilt is good and tight. Next, you take your LDH. Connect your LDH to your stilt. Make sure you hear that click. You hear that? That's when you know you're good. If you don't hear that click, that means it's not in. So that's what we look like after we're done with this cup right here. Open this up. Click here, should be another one at the bottom. Boom, this is all. It's an LDH. And what you're looking for is there's a hole right here. And there's a hole at the bottom there. As long as you connect this and here, like this. Boom and just click to your right. Go and swing, look, my hand, boom, that's the click, right there. So you good, connected. Like I said, it's full already, but just pretend it's not. Now, about, now this is the old truck, this, this is our backup truck. It's different to put this in pump gear compared to the, to the uh, much newer one. So let's put this in pump gear, you're already, already neutral, you go right here, only flip this down, and you got this type of truck, flick it down, once you're neutral, 
You want neutral? Right and clear. Flick down. One of these lights supposed to come on. Just one of them when you flick this down, but sometimes it doesn't. See, one of these lights supposed to come on, but it doesn't. But for sure, now when you put this in drive, when you put this in drive, both lights definitely should come on to indicate that you are in pump mode. So here, so watch these two lights turn green as I put this on drive. Also, make sure your shit is up also so this shit doesn't just take off. Watch, both these lights are gonna turn green, right? When I, let me get the both angle at the same time, right when I go to drive. Drive, one green, and two green. And you hear that noise, you're on pump. So then you go back, your tank to pump, pull. This your throttle, go up and down, blah de blah blah. So since I'm doing this by myself, my boy Mills going for gas, I think. Doing this by myself, you wanna keep this in open, because once you introduce the water, the flow is gonna let you know when to close this. So right now it's open. I'm about to open this up right now. See this? It's closed. Once I flick this wheel, it's gonna go open. So boom, you see it turning, turning. Don't worry about that, you're gonna get the water. It's not like it's fire or anything, it's water. It'll be alright. So now I'm gonna open my hydrant. This hydrant's gonna be a bit stubborn the first couple turns very tight see this is what I'm talking about that bitch is getting tight right now so I put a little bit of fucking muscle behind this bitch see now you go close that right here that's closed Open up your hydrant all the way. See, look at this hydrant, bro. See, now it's smooth. There you go, open up all the way. Damn, this bitch. Look at that. That's fucking strong. Okay, we open up. Let's go back just a little bit. We good. See, that's why I tighten this up because a lot more water would be coming out right now in the gate. So, boom. You good. That's how you get your own hydrant when you need water. Now, to get water, to get water from the hydrant to go into the truck. Because right now, if there's a company inside, they're using the water straight from the hydrant. Now to get water from the hydrant to fill your truck back up, all you gotta do is look for the tank refill. And once that's filled up completely, water's gonna come from the top to let you know to close it back up. So now to fill the tank, if your tank was empty, my tank is not empty, but if your tank was empty, all you would look for is the tank refill. Boom, now water's going from the hydrant to the truck now. And when it's filled up, the newer truck, the water come out from the top when it filled up. I, I don't remember if this one comes from the bottom or from the top. But we about to see. So right now, I guess this shit was a bit empty. Okay, you hear it now. There's the water flowing down. That means that your truck is full. Your truck is full. You close the tank to fill right back up. Boom. And that is basically it. That is how you catch your own hydrant. For water supply and to refill your truck and now you just want to do everything in reverse everything we just did you're going to do all of it step for step and reverse and that is basically it yeah. so just for learning purposes we're going to go ahead close Close this here, boom. Closed up. Close your motherfucking hydrant. Remember, you want this way to open it. 
Now you gotta go counterclockwise to close it. I'm about to show you what the gate, one of the reasons what the gate is for. It's there for multiple reasons. But here's one of the main reasons why it's for. I'm about to show you in a minute. Yeah, okay. You wanna, now you want to make sure your hydrant is tight. You don't want to go a little bit like I did before when it's open. When it's closed, make sure that bitch is tight. Not super tight, just a bit hand tight. So here's what you'll get is for. It's to drain. That's what it's for. You just, now you open it up and you drain the little bit of water that's left. That's one of the reasons why you'll get it for. It's there for multiple reasons, but that's one of the reasons. Also, if you do have a fire, ah, fuck that. There's no need for that. We'll learn that somewhere else. This is just a little basic shit. Yep, so drain it. Go so get it there. Now if you take your LDH off your stoats, there's one click here. That same click, there's another one at the bottom. You wanna click both of them at the same time. So one here, how can I hold the phone so you can see it? Well, you get what I mean though. Click here and then click at the bottom here with my right hand. So my left hand is on top of here and then you just go to the left or boom and that's open ah motherfucker mwah, mwah. Ooh, that bitch hurt it okay just take the stoots off that's all because i tightened the gate up a bit i'm gonna just take my spinner wrench to loosen it up a bit that should be good enough that's all Close this up. You don't want to tighten this up completely. Hold up, there's a call coming in. Close down here. Close this. Is that us? Park Avenue Christian Church at 70 Park Avenue, no 16th Street to no 17th Street on our activation. Yep, that's us. Gotta go. 70 Park Avenue, 70 Later. Park.